Yo, alrighty. So, disrespectful. That's what I call this edition. The, the, the disrespect of the Chinese Communist Party only because of the fact that well, our elites... Our elites? We don't own these elites. The elites that seem like they own us. What's up with these people, man? You got these leadership guys that are just bumping elbows with some pretty nasty people. We've seen it. You know, you've got the old Hunter Biden doing all these crazy things. Well... There's been some video footage that's been shown, other than leaked video footage that Fannie Willis put out. She don't care what anybody says. That was all a calculated mistake. She thought that it would get the court of public opinion on her side, and everybody was like, wait a minute, all this stuff's hearsay, and now that's all a big blown-out backfire on the prosecution side. <laughs> I mean, really, um, you know, uh, neat, neat how that people step on ranks. That shows desperation and maneuvers. Now, when it comes to maneuvers, we had the military, the Marines were uh, there in charge for doing the door service for Xi Jinping in, when, they, when he came to California after they cleaned up all the poop off the streets. I'm really sad to see what they do with our, our, our extremely well-decorated military folk. Here, open the door for this di communist dictator. Here, open, close the door for this guy. Matter of fact, move out of the way while he accidentally almost runs you over which to me if we're going to watch the video of uh the chinese communist party's dictators this is a professional driver he's been he's went to school he has evasive driving skills he knows how to handle that vehicle in case he has to make evasive maneuvers and there was more than ample enough room for that car to make the maneuver necessary to pull up without making the marine guy move out of the way that was a show of strength and force a microaggression I will show you this. And what's up, before I even show you that, this is just a short video, I'm going to show you what was happening in Reedley, California with an illegal biological lab that was found. This is all in mainstream media, media stuff, so YouTube, don't get mad at me. I'm not claiming any false information. I don't know who. We're going to find out who's behind it real quick. See my finger right here? That's important. Let me get out of the way. Oh, and then I'm going to show you the Marine having to move out of disgrace and disrespect from... You know, we give all we give Xi Jinping all the respect in the world. Yes, buy all of our land. Screw us in the rear end. And when you come over, we're going to have a five-star military greeting where we salute you and everything. But then when you pull up, I want you to make like you can't move just enough over where you pull. In. Yeah, the driver puts the front tire over the red carpet. By the way, red carpet entry. Driver puts a big old tire mark on it to to make sure to make the marine move out of the way. I'll show you. It's it's, it's that's enough to make you mad. All right. Pathogens labeled HIV in Ebola found inside secret illegal Chinese-owned biolab. Wow. You know what's funny is when this whole thing came out a couple of months ago, I said to a bunch of my colleagues, when I, when I say colleagues, just fellow content creators and other people in the comment section, hey, this sounds really strange. Would it be not interesting to know that there was possibly Chinese people behind this stuff? Now, I've got uh, other videos where I talk, I show content creators and other, uh, Dan Bongino being one of them. He, uh, there's, the people talk, has talked about, you know, supposedly uh, uh, Obama was the one behind, well, so Obama supposedly moved all of the biological labs dealing with, with uh, this kind of, like, level of biological material out of the United States because of safety concerns of the United States citizens. So I guess it's okay to put it somewhere else and then cram it up somebody, you know, whoops, we had a leak in the Ukraine. And we, uh, I'm not going to, not going there. I'm just saying the double standard behind the thing. Well, come to find out when you move these, these biological labs out of the United States, it makes it really hard to have oversight, which means you can kind of, you know, use the shop to change the transmission on the downtime with the boss man not knowing because he's out of town for a week and he's not going to see what's going on. So you bring your own cars in there and work on them and build things that probably would never be allowed to be done in that shop because the boss man would say, wait a minute, this is not right. You don't do this in my shop. <laughs> and, and the same thing happens whenever you have these labs moved out of the United States. However, there still has to be surrogates. Surrogates labs, I would call these, because they're, they're there because they have to study a certain... You've got to remember, they have allegedly geared a lot of these biological weapons for, for certain DNA demographics, color... And, uh, and and family traits and backgrounds because we all gave them our DNA through <laughs> history. What is it? Uh, uh, MyFamilyHistory.com. You know, you, you, you swab and you send it in and you don't read the fine print that it all gets sent off for people to do studies on. And they've managed to actually go in there and figure out how to engineer biological weapons 
to tailored just for you. Your own biological weapon is tailored. I, it wouldn't be surprised to me, you know, with your social security number, there's a number right beside it for your own personal biological weapon just for you. Custom tailor made for your immune system to not be able to handle and everything else. Now, I don't know. That's all alleged, by the way. This is totally alleged. This has nothing to do with what's allegedly going on in California, but we're going to read a little bit about what the article says from the New York Post. This is a New York Post article. I'm not adding anything to it. And all I said, everything I said earlier was just a hypothetical situation of allegedness. You use your own judgment and all that fun stuff when it comes to what we're talking about. But thousands of vials of, of, of biological substances, including some labeled HIV <laughs> and a freezer marked Ebola, were found inside a secret Chinese-owned bio lab in California, which the, which the Centers for Disease and Control and Prevention uh, and FBI initially refused to investigate. I, and I brought this up before. And and, and this was also, by, by the way, according to a House Committee report Wednesday, that was released Wednesday. So our CDC, when we were said, hey, we got this, we got all this stuff that looks like it's, we, we got to know what to do with it. So we need to identify it. Well, I ain't doing nothing with it. What do you mean you're not doing it? You're the CDC. This is your job. FBI's like, I ain't doing nothing with it. Wait a minute. You're the FBI. This is your job. This is on the United States. This is our home, home turf right here. This is what you do, you know? And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to show you why real quick in, 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 in a second here. We're going to, you're, you're going to see why what's going on in California. By the way, this was in uh, Reedley, Reedley, California. And the potential public safety risk as it posed only came to light in December 2022 when Jesslyn Harper, who, by the way, is going to be severely fired for doing her job. <laughs> I wonder if she's even got a job anymore. These, I guarantee you somebody in the HR department is catching hail right now. Uh, but an observant code enforcement officer noticed a green garden hose sticking out of a hole in, in the side of the warehouse that was thought to be vacant for more than a decade. So this place looks, there's no vehicles outside. It's not well lit. It's desolate looking turf where in other words, you know, that plant, that building been shut down for years. I remember when they had to move all that out. And it was it was not even supposed to be anywhere close to a biological lab. It was a, a meat packing <laughs> That's a weird thing that a meat packing facility would actually go down in California. You would think that thing would be pumping. They love to, they love to pack the meat over there. California is not all you guys, so don't don't be mad at me. You know what I'm talking about. You know that you know where it's going on at. But once inside, Harper discovered laboratory equipment, manufacturing devices, medical grade freezers, lab mice, and vials labeled man in Mandarin, which is Chinese language, uh, English, which is now Chinese language, uh, and in code that remains undeciphered, which is FBI X-File stuff like old Mulder and Smoking Man type things. Anyways, these also they, she also encountered several individuals in lab coats who identified themselves as Chinese nationalists. Okay, there's the garden hose sticking out. I mean, what was you know what were they doing here? I mean, why is that? What what is that for? I mean, and there's lots of ways to get water in and out of the building, but I mean, why do they have a garden hose sticking right out of the building? And so she's like, wait a minute, because there's a thing, like there's some kind of new ordinance that has to do with, you know, garden hoses being attached or something like that because of water, you know, water restrictions. So, so what's funny is Gavin Newsom's <laughs> tyrannical water restrictions because they don't, they won't retain any water in their dams or anything, let all their, all their surface water run off. So they don't have any drinking water in the area. That's a weird tactic. Uh, has made it where, as the, as the dictator that Newsom is, made it where you better not have a garden hose hooked to a spigot or stick it off the side of your house because there's a possibility it could be on it. You'll be fined a million, zillion dollars and we'll take your land and sell it to China, allegedly. But uh, here's here's the inside of it a little bit right here. Uh, the hose is sticking out. You see that right there? Okay, so here's the inside of it. And hundreds of tons of research equipment, freezers were found in the uh, facility. And Harper's discovery kicked off a nine-month investigation by which the which eventually roped in Jim Costa after being stonewalled by the CDC and FBI that wouldn't do anything about it, had would not take any part in trying to figure out what's going on. What kind of? Well, I just burp. What was that? That right there. That was a little bit. Sorry, we had to release a little bit of excessive testosterone. YouTube, don't don't mind the tech, the male toxic, whatever you want to call it, masculinity. Just just lean into it. All right. So, and, and by the way, like we said earlier, the CDC and FBI would not even have anything to do with it. They were trying their best to not, I mean, what kind of country are we living in right now when, when our tax dollars fund these people and all they want to do is go after American citizens? You get a couple of Chinese people in there and they got their hands are tied. They can't do a thing about it. 
And and this lab went all over the place, by the way. It was moved. It was come to find out that there's, 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 they found documentation where it was shipped all over the place because it almost, it was almost found out in another place and they were, they were quietly told to leave without any, without any, you know, mainstream speak about it. Moved all over the place and then right back to uh, California with open arms, by the way. Nearby, uh, what's not spoken in this article here. So without me, you know, being able to confirm it through the article of the New York Post, but it was really close to a uh, a, 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 a water source, a, a big, a, a huge creek or some kind of big water basin, not very far from this place. You know, just an FYI. And not to mention, it doesn't have to be directly in the water. They can. There's no telling what kind of stuff can be leaked out through the ventilation system that's not adequate for doing this kind of work. Because to have a, a level, whatever that is, bio, bio lab, there is some serious infrastructure has to be for scrubbing and cleaning the air before it's released back into the public. And this, I'm sure that this building was not anywhere close to anywhere made for that. Like it was almost meant to have an accidental spillage. Like, whoops, we had a leak. I had a leak. But we had a lab that we had no idea existed. And this is all alleged, by the way. Here's a bunch of the stuff. Uh, a bunch of biological material they found and they had to put in trash cans to, to haul away that the CDC did not want to identify. And by the way, there's stuff that wasn't even, uh, there wasn't even, uh, there was stuff that was not even identified. I told you that earlier about there was, uh, same with the potential infectious agents by the agency included SARS, COVID-2, chlamydia, HIV, E. coli, streptococcus, pneumonia, <laughs> pneumonia, pneumonia, <laughs> sorry guys, uh, hepatitis B and C, uh, Dengi, de, 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 I don't know how I can you pronounce some of that. The rubella, uh, dendro virus, the rubella virus, malaria. The CDC also refused to test the samples or examine the unlabeled vials, even after city officials offered to pay for the testing. We ain't doing nothing with that. The CDC refused to test the vials. They verify the con- to verify the contents inside. The report slams the CDC's initial reluctance to get involved in its refusal to test the files as unacceptable. It's yeah. And in July, the under the court order, legal local officials contracted a hazardous waste firm to carry out the destruction of the 140 tons of lab equipment and 440 gallons of medical biological waste found at the site. But just you know, probably just dumped it in the creek. We got rid of all that for you. Uh. uh during this process, a previously undetected freezer labeled Ebola was found. The disease has a death rate between 25 and 90 percent once it's contracted. Uh, wow, it just gets interesting. Uh, the panel's investigation also uncovered a complex connection between the Reedley Biolab owner and founder of J.A.B. Jesse Zhu and the Chinese Communist Party. I've talked about this before in other videos about any businesses you see run like Chinese restaurants with Chinese people doing it. It's very, very, very unlikely it's anywhere close to American owned or has anything that those people are operating under the guise of the Chinese party. And, you know, Zhu has been charged with fraud and making false statements. Of course, he won't have anything happen to him. Zhu entered the U.S. illegally through Canada after being slapped with a $330 million, million dollar Canadian court judgment in 2016 for running companies engaged in massive theft in American cattle-related intellectual property, according to the report. So this is obviously geared towards some kind of infrastructure attack, allegedly. Okay? And uh, once in the U.S., Zoo operated under the alias David He and began work on setting up network of bio- biotech companies, including the Greeley Bio... Dude, got too much time on his hands. Okay? Now, we had this happen in California. Okay? This is probably one of many unknown labs, allegedly. Okay, this is happening in California. What else is going on in California? Let me show you what happened with this soldier right quick. Check this out. You're going to see the... Just to tee this up a little bit. You can see that the carpet over here, you'll see that there's plenty of space. More than adequate room for this vehicle to pull in. Watch what... I, we're talking about a professional driver who has been well-trained in any driving instances to be able to save GCP life in an emergency. So this should be... Easy peasy pull it. Okay, here we go. Got plenty of room. Plenty of room. Uh, I'll get out of my way. Get out of my way. Ready? Two. Ready? Huh. The vehicle has no plates on it, by the way. No plates for identification. I mean, in other words, you don't have to. It probably doesn't have a damn driver's license. You don't need it when you're these people. Now, watch what this Marine has to do. 
look, look how they demoralize. And I know that we see this happen with other leaders in our country and everything, but let's just look at it like this right here. You, I showed you the article with, with the illegal biological labs running under the guise of an alleged Chinese Communist Party operative. Now here is your slap in the face, America. Ready. Doors. Ready. Off. Ready. I'd make that. I'm not even going to start. I'm going to start cussing. I'd make the other guy open that door. He'd open that door. And out comes Winnie the Pooh himself. Ready. Close. Ready. Shut. Ready. Face. Forward. He says, thank you. Thank you very much. Now let me get a hold of your pen so I can make some more uh, adjustments to your constitution. And I want to also make an executive order to kill all Melkins. Yes, I am Gigi Ping. I am the Panda Bear Deluxe. So, you've seen that. You've seen that. You've seen that move of microaggression pop off right there, right? Okay, disregard my air compressor running in the back. This is an actual functioning garage. This is not a facade. This is not a green screen behind me. If you're first new subscribers to all this, this is real stuff. <laughs> this is a real mess behind me. I didn't make this mess with a computer-generated CGI. <laughs> you want to see some stuff right here? Look at Watch Anthony Blinken shake his head whenever <laughs> Biden says, whatever, you know, there you go. Well, look, he is. I mean, he's a dictator in the sense that he's... I got a better one. I got a better one. This is a good one. This is, this is, this is where it really gets... You watch, you watch Christopher Ray, uh, or I mean, I'm sorry, Anthony Blinken, whatever, same, same... That's the same tube of grease. I, ain't, I don't care what anybody says. Here we go. President, after today, would you still refer to President Xi as a dictator? This is a term uh, that we used earlier this year. Well, look, he is. Asked, yeah, by the way, it was asked by a Chinese dictator. <laughs> I mean, Chinese people person, Asian person. There you go. Watch Anthony Blinken. Uh, Chris Ray, and whatever, same thing. Same tube of grease. Well, look, he is. I mean, he's a dictator in the sense that he, he is he's a guy. Like, uh, he's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know what that means, right? You're not going to get your, you're, like, you're, you're going to, they're going to only let you have three small kids for tonight. Oh, I just seen something. <laughs> Watch the reaction. You see, you see, uh, Anthony Blinken. You see my cursor right here. If you can see behind me, watch the little the skinny dude sitting in front of the reporter asking him. Watch the look on his face. I just saw that. That's crazy. This is a term uh, that we used earlier. Well, look, he is. I mean, he's a dictator in the sense that he, he is a guy <laughs> who runs a country that. Uh, uh, that's uh, John Kerry over there on the other side over that big old, I had uh, some A113 before I got in here jawline. Uh, you see the dude's face right here just start to turn down and you watch Anthony Blinken go like, it's this dude over here laughing. I don't know who that guy is, but that, that man. So, there's another slap in the face of Americans and military guys. There, There you go. But that just really just, I, I know this is a short video and everything, and thank you guys for watching, but having to watch that military dude do that, just, uh, just really put, I just, it just hurts my feelings to know that that's, that's how they're treating us. Doors. They're, 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 they're importing gosh knows what when it comes to, uh, things that are harmful to us. And, uh, the best we can do is open the door for them. So... I want to thank you guys for tuning in and hanging out. Please hit the like, subscribe, and share. And uh, don't don't let all this stuff get you down. I know the only reason why I'm showing you this is because I want people that are new to all this to see what, what's really going on. I also want people to try to, to, to talk about this. This needs to be a normal thing. The, the next big move for these people, if we, have, if we get the luxury of having an election in 2024... I, pl I pray that we do. I'm so I'm so glad that I was wrong about Hakeem Jeffries. I was like, they're going to get Hakeem Jeffries in there. And that was a close one. That was a close one. I don't know what the plan is on the whole end with the big Mike Johnson thing. But, uh, you know, I, I hope I'm wrong about the, 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 I hope we have, I hope they don't mess up our 2024 elections. At least get to have them. Even if they're going to do whatever they do with them. At least, you know, some glimmer of hope to have them would be nice. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week ahead. What's left of it? We got what? Uh, what is it? A one day and a wake up, and it's the weekend, guys. It'll be good stuff. So, uh, like Tupac says, gotta keep your head up. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Peace out.